Is that trade you're looking at a donkey or a thoroughbred racehorse ready to gallop to victory? So let's roll up our sleeves, check the teeth and hooves and make sure it's ready to gallop to victory or to be sent to the knacker's yard for glue. So today we're taking a look at what makes for a good trading setup. Oh, hi there trader, it's Phil and welcome back to the anti Vesta Stocks and Options Trading Podcast where we talk about what really works in the world of trading. So my goal is to give you the right tools, the correct rules, the software to assist you, a community to support you. And if you will allow me to be a mentor to show you the right way so that you get real results in the fastest and smartest possible way. Now then, we are of course talking about trades that go whoosh. The white whale, the holy grail, a thoroughbred race course, the elusive 10 bagger, glorious to behold, and even more magnificent when you saddle up and go for a ride when you realize you're on the one. Maybe it's a race course named Ticker Tape. It's a Derby winner for sure. The problem occurs afterwards when the expected trade, you expect it to be that sleek stallion with a smooth, fast ride to the finish line. The reality is that most trades are more like a rodeo ride or a booking bronco. As they swing back and forth, uh, maybe we hear the occasional braying and hee hawing uh, through. The, uh, the, the trade's life um, as we try not to cry through that seesaw price movements. Our task is to be a champion jockey and have the best ride that we're offered. Because what we don't know is what horse we've saddled up, whether it's a horse, a thoroughbred or a donkey for that matter. And it's certainly a fool's errand to look for a thoroughbred racehorse every time, or at least to expect it every time. All we can do is make sure that we're on the on the right horse to start with. The big secret uh, that I'm uh, inching around is that the donkey actually wins most of the time. You're never gonna get that whoosh straight to target. The reality is it, it's probably just gonna be plodding along. Again, just like a racehorse can be spooked or calmed several times over, so can the trade. You know, the, the, the ebbs and flows in the markets are, you know, pushing prices up and down and back and forth. And that trade may well look like a derby winner at the start of the trade, but it never really gets going. And we don't know that until afterwards. You don't know until you've saddled that racehorse or if it's a racehorse, or whether you've saddled an old fairground donkey, and you don't know that until afterwards how good it looked. All we can do now is check its teeth, make sure it's shod right, you've got the best rider on the mounts that you can have. And again, remember that fairground donkey can win the game of trading more times than the thoroughbred can. It's steady, it's reliable, it can plod away all day long. It's a work, uh, well, it was a workhorse slash donkey, but it'll take you right across the finish line every time. Now, of course, I am being whimsical, despite that we can check the quality of our, what we perceive to be a thoroughbred trade idea by following a simple set of rule-based trading, a checklist, an algorithm, an if this, then that statement which is what I do for all my trading strategies. I want this for me first and foremost, and as a byproduct of that, it's a really useful tool and mechanism uh, or system for that matter, family of systems that my uh, traders all benefit from because all the thinking's done up front. Again, we're going through that like a pilot goes through a pre-flight checklist, you know, check, 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 trade on. It's a simple set of rules to check its teeth before we saddle up. Uh, more recently, my SPX system has a very clear but well-defined set of rules that is easy to follow. It's an algorithm. I can plug that into a computer and have a look back at the historical performance and say, what could have happened if I'd been trading this for the last 10 years? So this means that I can have confidence in that system. It's got a track record that I'm expecting to work, but I don't know if this next trade is going to take me across the finish line. What I do have is an average expectation of whether that system or stock or future or crypto or whatever I'm looking at has a positive expectation. And again, generally everything that I trade has an upward pointing historical equity curve. And that gives me the confidence to place the next trade, the next trade, the next trade, the next trade, and the next trade. I'm effectively checking its teeth with my strategy and saddling up 
when everything's in alignment. And I can do that by 11 a.m. Eastern time most days or every other day with the swing trade system. You, there's not necessarily a trade every day uh, with that system. You're just profiting from the swings, the, the seesaws, the hee-haws, back and forth. And usually it can be done across the finish line by 1 p.m. So do you have a system that you have faith in? A system that you have a free trade checklist? You can check its teeth, check its feet, make sure it's shod right. Um, again, just like the pilot would have a pre-flight checklist, you know, you go through the routine. If this, then that moves to the next. If this, then that moves to the next. If this, then that. Great. Right. All the lights are in the green um, and we can now take off with confidence. We've got the right fuel. We've got the right uh, uh, flight plan uh, logged with air traffic control, blah, blah, blah. You know, we can take off and head to our destination. Again, same thing with the um, the pilot metaphor and the horse metaphor. Again, you get the fact that I'm being whimsical. What the point ultimately is, is you need a system that you've got faith in that is simple, well-defined, rule-based, so that you can apply discipline and consistency to your trade ideas. Because what we don't want to do is to uh, be doing one thing today, a different thing tomorrow, something else the following day. That's a recipe for disaster, no matter what you're doing. So have a system, have a, a pre-trade checklist that you have faith in, that has a historical expectation of making money on average. Again, we don't necessarily need the horse to cross the finish line in a straight way. We don't need to come in first place every day. All we need as traders is it to cross the finish line. It doesn't matter when we get there, as long as we get there. So if you like what you heard today, be sure to follow and listen from the very first episode where I map out one of my more profitable money-making strategies. And if you go back just a few episodes, I map out my 2024 uh, SPX system, the latest strategy that I'm trading, uh, the SPX system. Uh, so, and if you want to learn a little bit more about that in a little bit more detail, you can go to my website, antivesta.com, or you can shoot me a message if you've got questions, phil at antivesta.com, and let's start the conversation. What I do isn't right for everyone, and whatever you're looking for, I'll always attempt to point you off in the right direction if what I do is not right for you. So that's all for today. Thank you for giving me your time, your attention, and making me part of your regular routine. Have a wonderful day, and I'll speak to you at the same time next time. Until then, doodaloo trader. Bye for now. Keep in mind that futures, options on futures, stocks, and stock option trading involve a degree of risk that may not be suitable for all investors. There is a risk of loss in every investment that you make, and it's your responsibility to assess the risks of your decisions. Past performance is no guarantee of future performance, and Antivesta provides educational information and does not provide financial advice.